So today, we're going to take a look at the Chroma E68 Pro electric scooter, which is Chroma's high performance scooter with an adjustable handlebar height and seat. So in this video, I'm going to go over the assembly process, go in depth on the features and specs, do an acceleration test, a braking test, and review on how it rides. So let's get to it. So the E68 Pro comes in your standard scooter shipping box, but it is pretty heavy. So make sure to be careful in moving, and if possible, have someone help you move it. After opening, the scooter is assembled about 90%. All you have to do is remove all the packaging foam and zip ties, and then attach the handlebars by snapping them into place. Included in the box were the necessary tools and the instruction manual. The whole process only took about 5-10 to 10 minutes, with most of my time being spent cutting off the zip ties. This is one of the easiest scooters that I've ever had to put together. So you should have no problem putting it together by yourself, regardless of your mechanical skill level. And there was also a seat that came with the scooter, that was already installed. And it's super easy to take off and install. All you have to do is line up the holes in the seat post adapter to the corresponding holes in the scooter. Insert the spacer, and tighten up. What I like most about the seat, is it's really sturdy and solid. Also, Chrome has included a grab handle on the saddle, so it makes picking up the scooter super easy. So the E68 Pro is powered by a 500 watt brushless rear hub motor and has three speed settings. White, which has a top speed of 10 miles per hour. Yellow, which has a top speed of 15 miles per hour. And red, which has a top speed of 20 miles per hour. The battery is a 48 volt, 7.8 amp hour lithium ion battery that's stored in the deck and has a claim range up to 25 miles on a single charge. And since it is a bigger battery, the estimated charging time from empty is about five and a half hours. The tires are 10-inch honeycomb style tires that are solid, which has the major advantage of not having to worry about getting flats. And to help out with ride comfort, there's also a hidden rear suspension shock absorber under the deck that works surprisingly well. And for safety and increased visibility, there's a headlight, tail light, lights on side of the deck, and reflectors. And one really cool feature is that when we hit the brake levers, both the rear light and the light under the deck flash. And the dashboard has a very simple and clean display design that shows your speed, speed mode, and battery level. And to turn the scooter on, all you have to do is hold on the power button for 3 seconds. On the left side are 4 buttons. The plus sign increases the speed level, and the minus sign decreases the speed level. The left button is the cruise control, which is activated by pressing when riding, and then it maintains that speed. And the right button is the lights. Click once to turn on the headlight, then hold down for 3 seconds to turn on the deck lights. And since there's not a lot of information on the specs and the measurements on the E68 Pro, I'm going to do a quick overview. So the length is about 46 inches, with the wheelbase being about 36 inches. And with the handlebar height being adjustable, the lowest setting is about 38 inches from the ground, with the highest setting being about 46 and a half inches from the ground. The deck length is 24 inches, and the deck width is 7 inches. The deck height from the ground is 7 inches, the ground clearance is a little over 4.5 inches, and the weight is 43 pounds. And folding up the scooter is pretty easy. All you have to do is unhook the handlebar post, fold, and insert it into the hook on the rear fender. So for the acceleration test, I want to check the acceleration for each of the three speed levels. So here's how it went. Eco, go. Boom, top speed. Holy crap. Middle range, go. Top speed. Damn. Red mode, go. Boom. Damn, it's super fast. So for the acceleration test, the E68 Pro went 0 to 10 miles per hour in 3.35 seconds, 0 to 15 miles per hour in 5.02 seconds, and 0 to 20 miles an hour in 8.74 seconds. And I just gotta say, I was very impressed with the acceleration of this scooter. It felt fast, and my favorite part was, is that at slower speed levels, Chroma didn't reduce the power only the top speed. Next, I want to test out the braking distance for the two top speed levels. First, 
was 15 to 0 miles per hour, which the E68 did about 24 feet. Next, I did the same test from 20 miles an hour to 0, and the E68 stopped at about 31 feet. The E68 Pro has a clean, simple frame design that's made of alloy and has a really nice matte blue paint job, but it is available in shiny black, matte black, and matte silver. And so far through my extensive testing, the E68 has held up extremely well to daily use. The 500 watt brushless motor is almost silent and provides very good acceleration and is extremely smooth. It's able to cruise at the top speed of 20 miles per hour very easily and is pretty comfortable to ride. The only thing that compromises the ride a little are the solid tires. I mean, don't get me wrong, they have a lot of grip, but since they are solid, the ride is a little on the harsher side. But in order to minimize the harshness, Chroma has made the tires 10 inches, and also, there's a rear shock under the deck, and I have to mention that the rear shock does work extremely well. So I weigh in about 175 pounds, and the E68 Pro has had no issues getting up to speed or climbing regular hills. And while I wasn't doing 20 miles an hour on some of the steeper hills in my neighborhood, it was able to climb the hills around 16 to 17 miles per hour. And since this is labeled as a commuting scooter, other than power and comfort, one of the most important features to me is range. So Chroma claims that the E68 Pro has the ability to go 25 miles in optimal conditions. And I've ridden a lot of scooters in my lifetime, and I've never had a scooter go the advertised range. This is probably due more to my weight, not riding on perfectly level surfaces, and I never ride around in the slowest speed setting. But so far in my testing, this scooter's average between 16 and 19 miles of range per charge, which pleasantly surprised me. So I feel that 25 miles might be possible if you're much lighter than me and you're riding in the right conditions. And one feature that actually surprised me how well it worked was the detachable seat, which is very beefy and comfortable. And I've ridden a lot of scooters that have removable seats, and I always felt like they were an afterthought. But Chroma has made the seat strong, it doesn't move at all, and has cool little features like the grab handle. So overall, I'm actually pretty happy with the E68 Pro, and for the sub $500 category, this scooter has a lot of options that I wouldn't expect, including the 500 watt motor and detachable seat. And compared to other electric scooters in this price range category, this one feels more expensive than its competition. And while I really do like this scooter, it's not perfect though, and there are a couple things that are less than stellar. The first being the brakes. They do work really well, but the braking distance is very long. Like I mentioned in the braking test, I do like the ABS feel of the brakes. I just wish there was a little more power. It's definitely not a deal breaker, but I would like to see a front disc brake to increase the power, especially since it's a heavier scooter. And the last thing is the handlebar height adjuster. It uses a quick release lever and you have to tighten it extremely tight so the bars don't lower while riding. And just like the brakes, this is not a deal breaker, but I do feel the need to mention. So in conclusion, this is one of the best sub $500 electric scooters that I've ever ridden. I'm extremely impressed with it, especially for the price. It has a ton of features, it looks good, it's very powerful, and it's just plain fun to ride. So hats off to Chroma for designing a really nice scooter at this price point. I look forward to other scooters that they bring to the market in the future. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great one.